good people. Today we're going to be talking about what you see versus what you get. There is this telephone network in Nigeria that has one of the best publicities. Their publicity is superb. They make you understand that they're the fastest network. They have the best 4G. Everything about them is great. They have lots and lots of bonuses. From their publicity, this telephone network actually stole my heart away. So the last time I went to Nigeria, I said I was going to use this particular telephone network. My friend insisted, he said, no, use what you have been using. And I kept saying, no, I want to use this particular one. We went to the shop and we bought everything. They gave me a SIM card and all of that. When I got home, just to download a WhatsApp video it was so difficult. And I realized that their internet speed was so, so slow. And my friend said, I told you this because I have used it before. And the bonuses, the promises were so complicated. The bonuses were not actually real. They did not appear like what they had shown on TV. So I came to realize that the publicity, what we were made to see, is not actually the reality of what you get. So what you see versus what you get, two different things. And that is how many of us have decided to live our lives. We go by this fake phrase. We go by this phrase that fake it till you make it. I don't know why you should decide to fake your life till you make it. Why should you fake something if you know you can actually make it? The reason many of us fake it is because we don't believe that we can make it. Why don't you work it till you make it? Why don't you take life the way it is till you make it? Why don't you make it till you make it? Why do you have to fake your life? Why do you have to be somebody that in reality you are not? Many of us, especially on social media, we just share a lot of fake information. You see, your friend will borrow you a car. You actually drive the car around. You come and put it on social You come and put the pictures on social media. And you will not mention your friend's name. And everybody will say, oh, he has a very nice car. While it was actually your friend's car. We go to people's houses. We take pictures. We put it on social media. People are like, oh, he has a very nice house. While in reality, it's not your house. You go for a party. You take pictures of parties. And they say, she's always grooving. She's always having a happy life. While in reality, you're not having the happy life. So why should you fake it? Why should you deceive the world? Why should you do a publicity of something you actually are not? Many of us preach the gospel on Facebook. While in reality, our lives, we don't live the gospel. Many of us will give people a lot of inspirational talks. <laughs> not like me. <laughs> Many of us will give a lot of people a lot of inspirational talks, a lot of encouragement. But while in reality, we don't take the advice we are giving. We don't encourage our own selves. The people around us, we don't even encourage it. But we go to social media and we encourage people. We go to social media and we post pictures of the goodness we are doing. But while in reality, the people around us don't even feel the goodness. They are not even connected to the goodness. They don't even feel the gentility. They don't feel the hospitality, the humility we claim to have on social media. So why should you fake it? And one thing too, never let social media pressure you. Never let social media intimidate you. There are people on social media with 1,000 likes, while in reality they don't have a true friend. There are people on social media with pictures that expose all of their bodies, while in reality they are so insecure. They're not even comfortable with the body they have. There are people on social media, they will show you big houses, while in reality they don't sleep at night. There are people on social media with so much smiles on their faces while in reality they are going through so much depression there are people on social media very happy couple while in reality they don't sleep on one bed that picture was just for social media never let social media intimidate you never let social media make you think you are left out never let so people don't share their failures on social media you should know that there are people who fail too never let people make you never let social media make you feel like you're the only one who is not doing something. There are people who preach things on social media that in reality they don't do it. You think they have a very happy life while in reality they don't have a happy life. I am not saying that everything on social media is fake. There are things on social media that are actually true. But what I'm trying to make you understand is that don't let it intimidate you. Don't let it pressurize you to be something you are not. Don't let it make you to fake it till you make it. Walk it till you make it. You are not left out. Sometimes what you see is not what you get. It's just publicity. It's just the showbiz. It's just to show it to the world. It's just a show off. The reality of it might not actually be like the show off that you see. So remember that you are special in your own way. You are unique in your own way. 
and you are a happy person in your own way. Be happy and be contented with what you have. And remember to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord your God will always be with you. See you at the top because the bottom is so crowded. So we will make it to the top. We will walk it to the top. We will pray it to the top. But we will never fake it to the top.